And on the storm watch as more wind, rain and snow move into Northern California. And take a look, school closures are already going into effect. Tonight, El Dorado County education officials say all sites in the Camino Union School District and Gold Oak Union School District will be closed tomorrow. Deer Creek and Seven Hills, the Nevada City School District, will have a late start at 1030 a.m. The Colfax Elementary School District also says there will be no school tomorrow due to snow and power outages. You can see here some of the conditions Colfax has been dealing with since our record December snow. It has been nearly one week since tens of thousands of people in the foothills and the Sierra lost power. Tonight, Nevada County's Office of Emergency Services shared these photos. As counties remain in an emergency, some are offering resources and firewood so people can continue to heat their homes. Firewood is available at several different fire stations in Grass Valley and Nevada City. The First Baptist Church in Cross Valley also opened as a new overnight shelter for those who need to get out of the cold. The shelter was moved from Grass Valley's Bay River High School so the school can prepare to welcome students back from the holiday break tomorrow. And here are some new numbers where the power outages stand tonight in Amador, Calaveras, El Dorado, Nevada, and Placer counties. The majority of outages remain in Nevada County, but PHE is reporting more progress was made today, and hundreds of customers had their power restored. If you are looking for more information about outages in a certain area, and to get more information about PHE resource centers or other warming centers in an area, we can text the information to your cell phone. Just text the word SNOW to 916-321-3310. As we get over to meteorologist Tracy Humphrey, cold temperatures remain a concern. Well, the past couple mornings, it has been all about bitter cold temperatures, and this morning did not disappoint. Five below was the morning low coming in for South Lake Tahoe, two below in Truckee. Temperatures in the mid-30s this morning. That was through parts of the foothills, 28 degrees in Sacramento. That's about 10 degrees below average. Similar conditions down in Stockton as well as Modesto, and 31 coming in for Fairfield for a morning low. So what about the rest of the day? Well, we have plenty of sunshine, but still came in just a little below average. 52 was the afternoon high in Sacramento. 51 in Stockton, similar conditions to the foothills and temperatures cooler, of course, in Truckee with 37 for an afternoon high and 40 in South Lake Tahoe. As we move into uh, the day on what will be happening on Monday, things will definitely be changing. Clouds coming in throughout the day, chance of rain showers coming in, hitting the valley floor around mid morning to early afternoon, and we'll see some snow showers moving in as well. So how much more rain and snow is in the forecast and when will it move out? We'll take a look at the latest numbers that's coming up. Now, thanks, Tracy. As more weather moves in, all kinds of issues remain in the Sierra. Take a look at these new photos out of South Lake Tahoe. Fire and rescue had to respond to a gas leak at a mobile home park that was caused by snow removal operations hitting a line. The line was dug up and secured. And Cal Fire shared these photos today showing the cleanup in Placer County. Cal Fire says they continue to help people dig out and stress that weakened trees from the snow continue to pose a threat of falling on power lines and blocking roads. Meanwhile, some good news tonight in Nevada County. Officials say all county roads are back open, but people still need to be careful. Officials there say most trees that remain are in power and telephone lines, and they are working with PG&E and telecommunication companies to address the issues.